right, man. Detroit Pistons are thinking about bringing back a veteran forward, Marcus Morris Sr. I think he played for the Pistons back in 2015 for a second. We know him uh, at this point in his career, stretch four. It's pretty much what he's been. Um, play, he can play some four, he can play some three in this day. Um, you know, he got a twin, Markeith Morris. I ain't mad at it. Um, he get him a veteran that could be in the locker room that's been around the league a little bit. Um, yeah, that's been around the league a little bit. And on top of that, you know, he get him a another traditional look at the four. At the, well, another modern look at the four. So kind of when you start to uh, dig into it, you start looking. And, um, yeah, you start looking and you start like, okay, you know, they got Tobias Harris playing a four. Some people think Isaiah Stewart is a four. He more of a five. Um, so now they get another look at the four. You got some people saying, well, Jalen Dirk can play the four. Nah, he's a five. You know what I'm saying? So now they get another look at the four. They got some guys that they can play at the four. You know, Ryan Hollins, you know, he can play some four, um, especially as he get uh, stronger. So they got some guys in there that can play some four. Um, but now they got another traditional, four, another tra like modern four, and I and I like that for them to pick them up. It ain't gonna cost them nothing. As of right now, Cleveland might not bring him back. He's still shooting around 40% from three. I think he only played 12 games last year. The year before that, 37 games started seven. So he's still he's still shooting the ball pretty well from that distance. You know, he ain't gonna give you 36 minutes a game like he did when he was first here. Now his career high for him, but. But yeah, it's a, it's a good fit for the Pistons, in my opinion. Um, it's a real good fit. I believe that, uh, you know, it's really no harm, no foul, unless you're going to make a move. And even if you do make a move, he ain't going to pay him a lot of money where it's going to put you in salary cap buying. So getting, getting you another modern uh, or tradition, another modern four, uh, who can give you some time at the three, that can give you some shooting. Uh, we're going to give you some wisdom and some more spacing and some more, you know, game for these young guys that's been in this league who played at a high level. Make a bunch of sense and seem to have high character. And that's what you and that's what you really, really want uh, as well. So, yeah, man, uh, I think it's a good look. For the, I think it's a, a, tra a tra tremendous look for the Pistons. Uh, I think it makes a tremendous amount of sense. Unless they feel like they got other alternative options in, you know, he ain't gonna get in the way and stopping nobody grow. But guess what? If they don't come to if they don't come to play and they don't come to participate at a high level, then this is a guy that you feel comfortable putting playing in front of those young guys until they get it together and figure it out. And one of the things I didn't like about Monty Williams well, was the simple fact that Monty Williams would sit there and he would just pull a guy for making a mistake or might be not, I don't know, practicing hard or whatever. And then guess what? He they wouldn't play for like ten straight games, or they wouldn't play, but a few minutes, and you know he killed their confidence. You know Dwayne Casey was the opposite. He believed in letting players play through their mistakes, um, and letting them figure it out. Phil Jackson was like that. Well, Monty came in and said they wasn't gonna do that. That if you made a mistake, you was gonna ride that pond. It could be for a few minutes. It could be for a long time. A lot of times it was a few minutes. And I feel that you know, K. Cunningham was another guy that was above the law when it came to that. And everybody gonna make it seem like I'm picking on him, but I'm just keeping it a bean. He was a guy that was above the law when it came to picking on, uh, he make mistakes and do dumb shit, he didn't go to the bench. And my whole thing about it is he's never earned that. I keep saying that he's done nothing to earn immunity to be higher than anybody else on this team. You know? So, like I said, like I continue to say about it, man, it's just, you know, pick players, look at that. Like, it was, you know, rumblings out the locker room about Killian Hayes. You know, how they was going around and letting Killian Hayes start and, you know, he had so much belief in most of the players and believe he can play. So, yeah, you know, you, you get those things from time to time and the favoritism. You know, yo, 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 a lot of people, kids, you know, a lot of people – or grandparents and, and, and parents to say, well, I don't have a favorite kid, but kids know. 
kids know. Y'all can sit there and tell a bold face, fat face, iron lie in my Cat Williams voice, but kids know. The kids know. But I think Martin Morris, you know, he buy you some time for some of these guys to develop. He could buy some time, you know, spare some minutes if somebody's nobody step up with Tobias Harris. But I just feel like it still should be a trade coming. You know, I feel like this is a team that can win 30 games just off talent. You know, with the right coaching and the right, you know, offense put out there. So I do feel like it's a team that can. I do feel like it's a team that can that can, that can really be out here producing at a high level. Or at a semi-high level, but Morris, like I said before, no harm, no foul. You know, so you that you know you added veterans like uh, the dude from Utah, Simone. You added Beasley. Uh, we bought the dude back from Utah. You got Beasley. You got Tobias Harris. You got uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. Might as well add Marcus Morris to the pot of young guys and let them go get it. Let them go get it. Let them figure it out. But I just feel like with you know, Jay Nivey, Shore Thompson. You know, I think it's a move that's gonna that's gonna be coming. You know, so maybe they may let them get to camp. May 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 they may let them you know get in there and duke it out. They very may well do that. You know, and you know you would think iron shopping iron and. You know, competition, but a lot of these dudes, they've been used to being the man their whole career. They've been used to being that guy their whole career, so they they not used to, they not used to going in there and, and, and you know, having to compete for a spot that's been given to them. You got somebody that's been, you know, given to them, you ain't know how to earn nothing, you know. You know, it's hard to explain, so. Um, it's hard to explain to them that, you know, they got to work for it. And that's this generation, like, a lot of the parents in this generation, you know, in every generation, you want to give your kids something that you never had. But giving them easy access and not making them earn anything, that's not that's not one of the things you want to hand down like an airman. You know what I'm saying? You got to make them earn a dollar. You got to make them earn trust, earn, you know, earn, you know, your trust and with responsibility and, you know, doing things and, a lot, of, a lot of kids don't have that no more. That trickles down to age. Especially if you got kids that's good at basketball that can take the whole family and put them in a new a new, on a new trajectory uh, for, you know, generational wealth. So, but yeah, I like Marcus Morris. Uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all the notifications. Get your chance. Get notifications. We go live and drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Check out the Trade Business Talk playlist for more videos like this. Peace.